What's up, YouTubians? Gary, VW Jawbreaker. Welcome to a crappy, warm Florida day where it's unseasonably warm. Where last weekend I was in a jacket and my stand just broke again. But yeah, so we're waiting on a more weather to come through. I don't know. So I figured let's go in the garage where we have an engine to tear down. So all I know is this thing came on a sand rail that a friend of mine bought. Had some super flow heads on it, some thick wall, 92 pistons. Other than that, it's kind of a mystery. It's got a sump, it's got a VZ cam in it, stock rods with the bumps on the bottom, not on the top. That's nice. Uh, in play was good. Side to side play is good, but this thing sat outside for quite a while. So we want to go ahead and take this thing apart, check it out, see what's really going on. Make sure this is a viable build or not. You know, we don't know unless we tear it open. And what are we out if we tear it open? Not much. Right, some time, some sealant, that's about it. If everything's good inside, it just goes back together with some sealant and time. That's it, it's not a big deal. So, we're gonna bring you along. Let's dive into this thing, see what we got. So I did a little bit of preliminary measuring and I kind of measured the distance this one was out versus the one this one was in. Kind of looks like we may have a stock crank in there. I know we got stock rods, so the only way to know for sure is go ahead and get this thing flipped over check it out and see exactly what we have so it's got no oil we'll go ahead and pull the sump off the bottom and we'll go from there yeah it's set outside for a little while wow That is disgusting. So much gunk, junk, milk. He said there was a little bit of water in the case when he drained the oil. So, I mean, luckily that was in the sump. So looks like the case right here is a-okay. Of course, we'll go ahead and get everything cleaned up better, but for the most part, I don't see any corrosion or anything on the case. So now we'll go ahead and pull all the 13 millimeter hardware off. Oil pump's already out. Then we'll go ahead and pull the main case, split it, see what it is. Not 100% sure if we're using these cam and lifters again, so I'll go ahead and put some lifter clips in there to hold those in place. That way we can keep the lifters in the appropriate locations. And that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and put our case splitter in there. Some people use them, some people don't. I like to. Usually give them a little bit of persuasion, some light, like up here, it doesn't really matter if you pry a tad. I definitely don't pry along here because you will ruin your damp mating surfaces. Feels like the crank wants to come with it. Well, let's take a peek, shall we? So I got the cranks kind of set back in there. It's on its dowel pins. That one's tight. That one's tight. And this one here is definitely a smidge loose. Stock crank that's been welded and balanced. You can kind of see it a little better right there. So it's been welded and balanced, eight dialed. Journals look brand new, really look brand new. Kind of can't wait to go ahead and pull this out, kind of check things a little bit. Let's check out our other case half real fast. So these lifters look, not much wear on them whatsoever. Everything looks pretty clean. 
a little bit of roughness on that bearing. But I don't feel any lips. You see a discoloration, but nothing's really... You can't feel that at all with your thumbnail. It's perfectly smooth, so it's just a discoloration. All right, well, let's check the lifters out. I'll show you a quick, easy way to do that. So what you can do is pull your lifters out, put them together, and see if they rock back and forth. And if they do, then they still have a crown to them, and the lifters are good. So they're not flat. They're not dished. They're, not, they're actually not bad at all. You can definitely tell they're some wear on those. I mean, they're not brand new, brand new. You can see the coating's been worn off. No groove in the oiling hole. Yeah, those could be used again. All right, so I wanna go ahead and pull the crank out. Go ahead and get this bearing off. I'm gonna go ahead and inspect a little bit more and see what more we have, but cam looks good. Haven't mic'd it yet, of course, but lobes look really good. No discoloration, no, no nothing. So we'll go ahead and same with those side. Those lifters look the same. A little worn, but nothing horrible. I don't really think this engine had a whole, whole lot of runtime on it. So I like this tool. Came from CIP1 or something like that. Shows you a different main diameter, if you will, uh, whether or not your case has been line bored, whether it's standard, once over, two, three over. Just by a matter of putting that down in the case, you can tell. We'll go with this side, it'll be easier to see. So that's standard. Put that in there and it's not tight. It's got some looseness to it. Let's go to, there we go. There we go, that fits well. And that's too big, you see the gap down at the bottom? So this is 60 over case. And pop this other bearing out. Oh, that fits in there nice and tight. Yeah, that fits really good. Not as good as that saddle. That fits nice. All right, let's inspect that crank. A little bit of discoloration, but well, that's about it. And I make the same tool for the crank. So you can find out if it's standard. Nope. That's standard crank. We got standard journals. Nice. The crank is 10 under in the mains, but standard on the rods. All right, good to know. Let's check out the rest of them, never know. Look decent, nothing horrible to write home about. Rods were definitely on upside down though, which is a slight offset to these. That's why they have the, the bump on the factory, that side up. To unseat your rods use a if you have a brass hammer use one i don't but definitely leave your nuts on so you do not ruin your studs hmm. bolts coming out of that one which that's no big deal get that press back in easy enough same thing, I mean, bearings got a little bit of wear on them, nothing horrible. Hmm. 
Yeah. About the same everywhere. Oh, they chamfered the oil hole there too. Both sides, and there's your VW logo right there. This is a stock crank that has been welded, counterweighted, and balanced. By those dimples there, you can tell it's been balanced. Well, that was pretty painless. Again, just having a short block here makes it so much faster and easier to go through, right? So I went ahead and measured the thrust, which is the difference right here from this lip to that lip, and it measures perfectly standard. So the case is 40 under, been line bored twice, thrust is stock, perfect. So this would actually, wouldn't do a high performance build out of this, but it, it can handle a little bit. Lifters, little bit of wear, but nothing bad. I mic'd out the cam, the cam shows good. And that is a VZ25, which is similar to a 110 cam, it's an angle. Crank is a stock 69 stroke crank. The mains are standard. I'm sorry, the mains are 10 under. Rod journals are standard. Everything looks really good. Everything looks good. Everything feels nice. Journals are perfect. Absolutely perfect. I wouldn't even polish those. I mean, perfect. So we'll go ahead and nip this one in the bud for now. Uh, we'll go ahead and call our buddy see what he wants to do and, and this is just like a spare engine build i don't know if it's going to go into his baja really not sure um he's got lots of parts so who knows this may get a stroker crank pistons rods i i, I don't really know what he's going to do but um I, I wouldn't go too radical with this case already been line borne twice but you know i mean we, we could definitely make a nice mild stroker would not be out of the question so Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for sticking around. Don't worry. We will be building this engine shortly. And in case you're not familiar with Jawbreaker, which is the original car that started this channel, we have an engine build coming up for that soon. We're going to get that car back on the road. So till next time, be kind and be good.